the bronze mallard is on the flank upper part of the back and it gets darker up here this bronzy color up at the top and when you get these feathers you want to try to match them for curvature turn it this way you want to get another one that matches it for the way the color goes but some of them have this in this gray spot down here that's called the sweet spot on this feather there's a see the little gray gray spot in here that's a sweet spot if you try to mount up here where you don't have that sweet spot up on the top here there down here it's not that gray spot isn't right there as much as down below it won't work but you can, when you get to that spot, use this other technique of folding those bronze mallards. The other uh, source of bronze, you can buy them. You, most shops, if they, a lot of shops will carry, not, uh, not all of them, but uh, it's not cheap. For about uh, five pairs of bronze mallard, if they're well paired, that'll run you probably six to eight bucks. If you really wanna get into the business of it, you go and you buy like a four ounce package, that's about $300. And you will go through that and you will probably half of it won't be usable. It will be usable if you do the other type of folding on the hackles, but there's, Bronze mallard is just a little nicer to use than, than uh, a lot of the spay flies also use turkey and they also used uh, some goose for wings. They didn't all use the bronze mallard. Right along the top here. Occasionally, you know, when you start fishing this fly, it'll separate out. And right now there's a little gray feather there right in here. That's one of the guinea feathers coming through between. You can, if you get them together, you, there's, uh, what you do is you take, uh, used to be Dave's Flexament, and then you would really thin it down to where it was just extremely thin. And you would just barely put a drop on one or spot or so, and that would immediately seal those two together. However, it's real hard to get Dave's Flex Cement and Dave Flex Cement thinner now, partly because it has to be land shipped. It can't go by air because of the toluene and the, uh, the stuff that's in it. It's very extremely flammable, but you can take shoe goo and toluene that you can get at the hardware store and the shoe goo that you can get wherever they sell tennis shoes. Uh, and you can mix those down to get the same real thin stuff. So this healthy hoof, what I do, I took the big bottle like what Sherry had, the larger one, and I took this smaller bottle and I put some in there. And because you, you open and close it and open and close it, it gets thick pretty soon. Well, get yourself a bottle of lacquer thinner. I fill this up with the, uh, with, with, with the thinner and just squirt it in and shake it up a little bit and it thins it back down. Oh, I well, missed him. He's on, fish on. We'll open the net up, let him out and let him go. 